welcome back to the BSN channel. I'm looking scruffy like a bear, but it's all good. It's a little vlog, making Ebba say hello, mum. Hello, people. Mm, she doesn't feel that way. She wants to eat. Let's show what she does. <laughs> 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 all right, let, let me film this now. Okay, so what we have here, my mum is crushed down. She's boiled some okra, some inkruma, yeah? And then she's... Uh, I don't know if there's even a word for what she did, but she used a whisk, but did not whisk it. She was banging it and <laughs> trying to like... Oh, no, no, I used hot water. I put the hot water in first, pour some... I'm talking about the okra. Oh, the okra, yeah. Yeah, the okra, course. you just going bang, bang, bang. Yeah, you do that, you do that. So that's no. why it looks like this. Over here, we have Ebba. Which is basically uh, processed gari, or processed cassava. Yeah. Which is a uh, gari, which is a uh, squashed together. So in a way, it's like a type of fufu, or, or it's, it's similar to like banku, but it's just banku. You can't it's, put the sauce on it; it will melt. Mhm. Mm so this is just a a vlog showing what my mum's done. Uh, but, you know, I don't know what to call this a stew or. It is a stew. So it's a stew. But this is a perfectly done stew. Well, which meat did you put in? Um, it's chicken and salted beef. And this salted beef is I buy it from Costco's and it's a very, you know, big chunk, you know, fatty bits. So I had to trim the fat out and cut them and throw them in. When the food is almost, the sauce is almost well cooked, then I throw it in. So. Yeah, so actually, it could have been just chicken stew, but it's not just chicken stew. Okay, so tell me, when did you learn to make Ebba? <laughs> I had Nigerian friends. And where was your Nigerian friends from? When did you? Well, we lived together. We lived in um, Stockwell. Yeah, Vauxhall. Oh, Nine Elms. The <laughs> ones with fruit. Yeah, ones with <laughs> The Gaza. We the live, the live, ghetto, yeah? Ones of road. It's not ghetto. You can't even buy a flat there. <laughs> yeah, but you can get robbed there. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not as bad as it used to be, let's be honest. Yeah, so... So yeah. Was, was this before crack came out? I don't know. Crack. I've never heard of it. What I'm saying is when crack came out, the, the crime accelerated. Start, people started dying. People what started getting... crack? Crack cocaine. It changed the whole nation. Oh, okay. And then when I was born, it was full of crack babies, people who had uh, addicts as parents. But you know, that 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 generation's recovered now. The next generation is not like that anymore. So Whoa, it's, it's hot. But so anyway, back to how you learn how to make ever. Yeah, hot water and Gary. Okay, so what did you teach? Did you teach them how to make fufu? <laughs> they eat the fufu, but they don't know how to do it. Oh, so you used to exchange recipes? Yeah, I'll bring mine and she... And then you just share it? Um, okay, so this is the Gari. Uh, there's many different brands that do Gari. Um, this is quite a new brand, to be honest, TRS. Okay, so we're gonna... Wow. Watch my mum chew this. Obviously, we're not gonna show everything, but... We're gonna show I a bit too of much meat. Oh, enjoy, enjoy yourself. Come on, enjoy yourself. <laughs> enjoy yourself. I don't like too much meat. Why you, take one out. Why are you lying for? No. You do I, know. You no, know, I do respect females for that. I don't know how you females can just control what they want. Well, not all females, but I mean, there's a lot of females who can control what they want to eat just to maintain weight. See the slope here, I say, and it's not too much. I like it that way. I'm eating the okra. All the food I'm eating is processed food, right? So, the good one in it, you know, is going to do something in the body properly for me. Surely it's not the dairy at all. The dairy is mm. the starch and it's, you know, carbohydrate, sugar. Mm. But you know you're gonna have a lot of people say, "Oh, it's cassava. It's bad for you." Blah blah blah. But you know, no, but it would have killed all the Nigerians then. Well, not just Nigerians. Yeah, cassava. Cassava's in our children. Food. Yeah, of so course. So it probably would have killed the whole of West Africa. <laughs> Let's be honest about that. 
I don't eat this often, so once every probably yeah. But at the same time, years. listen, this is processed gari. Yeah. So it's being processed. I'm not saying it's the most healthiest thing in the world, but it's a way of filling yourself up. Of course. And not dying of hunger. Yeah. I know when I was younger, we go to boarding school in secondary school. We have to go with gari, plenty gari. And what secondary school did you go to? Do I have to say? At <laughs> BA. <laughs> <laughs> so was that was that the the name of the place? Sunyang. Sunyang Secondary School. For girls, yeah. No, mix. Oh, it was mixed, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where my brother went first. Oh, the the your twin. Mhm. Mm oh, the dish is so nice. Mm. Even though. The gare is not going to do much in my body. If anything, it's going to do a bit more damage. Don't worry, but just enjoy your food. It's not I've got good. the okra, which contain the iron. <laughs> so the okra makes everything better. Obviously, I'm not going to say anything bad about okra because I know there's an okra gang out there that they don't want me to say bad things about okra. So I won't we say We all love bad. okra. Okra, whoever that said it, they've never eaten okra is a lie. I like okra, I just don't like the way you've done it here. I don't like it mashed in and then slippery and I don't like that. I like to eat it full, like a chocolate bar. That's how I like to eat my okra. Sometimes I like to have my okra full and then I dip it in some shito and then I just eat it. Mm. Still okra, whichever yeah. way you want to But just don't, don't mash my okra and then mix it in my stew, I don't like that. Well, I should have put in something like... Um even though it would taste nice, I'm not saying it doesn't taste nice, soda. it does taste nice. Soda carbonate uh, to, to make it a bit... Sodium bicarbonate, yeah. Yeah, so that it can be a bit more slippery. But I didn't. I just want it like this. That's why I was had to beat it. Okay. Oh, well, what do you have to say? This mm. is a quick vlog. Uh, again, mm. remind us what, what type of meats have you put in this? I've got a chicken. Boiled chicken, which I did boil it for a long time. Is it boiled chicken or just normal chicken? Boiling chicken. So it's boiled chicken. What else? And then I've got that's the chicken. I like chicken breast. I've got the meat, the salted meat. Whoo, the salted beef, the one that cost the arm and a leg. Yeah. 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 No, no, sorry. <laughs> it's not even ten, uh, ten, twelve pound. Between ten, twelve. Depends. Still, size. arm and a leg. It's mom. something. A day. It's not salty, salty. It's got. At least you eating proper meat. This time I didn't overcook it. Oh, okay. You can chew it, and that's why I said I can't eat three, four of these. It's not good. It fill your stomach. Well, especially you. The meat, yeah. Since you come out of hospital, you just been. Yeah, I, I can't eat too much. But you've been trying to though. I will give you that, especially yeah. Christmas time. I did more dessert, <laughs> more dessert down there, the main food. Mm. This is nice people, look. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching me. Mm -mm. Even though you can't see my face. Mm. Yeah, so you can chew like my uncle. Mm. See that? Or chew like I'm me. enjoying it. Have you noticed the Gary is still there? <laughs> I'm taking a little amount to eat and make sure this will go in my tummy first before this finish because um, I'm not going to be eating this first. There's a possibility that I might probably leave half of that, but this will go in my belly. It's okay. lovely. Oh dear, this is nice. I have to do it again. Okay. Mm. okay. Mm. 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 Look, mm. you go. You go hold it. You go hold it here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. See the redness mm. of the salted beef. Cheese. And it hasn't even got salt in it. I thought you said it was salted beef. The moment you cook it, as it's gone. All right. So you don't need to add too much salt when you're cooking. No. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna show mm. the the stew once again, then we're gonna end this. She's taking more. Oh, it's still. Let me come home and chill it. That's enough. Okay, this smells very nice. Um, it's 
you know, the same ingredients for making a curry. It's just mm -hmm. my mom didn't use a pan, a frying pan. She used a, you know, a pot. You have to be very skilled. Make sure there's not a lot of water content. Otherwise, you, you see the oil right there. That's that's what you're aiming for. That sort of oil right there. Don't worry, I didn't touch the food. I didn't touch the food. Oh. With your left. I, I didn't touch the food. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I remember when when I was young, I, I accidentally touched on my left, and I thought the whole world ended. Well, <laughs> from the sound of my mom's voice, it sounded like the world ended. <laughs> Even my dad was like, "What's wrong with you? You only touched the food." <laughs> and then mom gave him the look like, "This is mummy time. Go and watch your TV." Mm. <laughs> Let me smack my child. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you don't want too much water content in this. You have to be very skilled when you're doing this, but practice makes perfect. Like my mum added coconut oil, so I can smell the coconut oil coming up. It, you know, apparently it reduces the, the intensity of the scotch bonnet pepper. Coconut milk does it better though. So, I hope you enjoyed this little short vlog. I try not to make these vlogs too long. Uh, if you liked it, please like. If you dislike, feel free to dislike. If you haven't already, please subscribe. God bless to the believers. And good luck to the atheists. Peace.